Voting for the presidential election is set to take place on Friday the 26th of October. Current President Michael D. Higgins will be running for a second term, despite stating that he would only serve a single term as president in his 2011 inauguration. This is the first election in 42 years that a president will be facing contests for a second term by a political party. I think I'm going to vote for Michael D. I'm going to vote for Michael D. Higgins. I think for me, I'll be voting for Michael D. Higgins because I was really impressed at what he's done in the past seven years. Um, I know there's a bit of controversy surrounding payments of money at the moment, but I think out of the current candidates that are um, in the running as well, I just feel he's the best. He, I think he represents the best of Ireland. He's a Gael Gore. He's a passionate for Irish culture and he's an advocate for gender equality. Michael D. Higgins is favoured to win at 67% public preference, according to an Irish Times poll. This puts him 55 points ahead of second favourite Sean Gallagher. At least 3.2 million of the registered voters are expected to vote on Friday. Um, I did some sort of research. I have like a small, a bit of an interest in politics and everything, so I like to at least know something before I vote. Yeah. I feel like you really need to go out of your way to get the information. Um, it's, it's hard. Not that much information is like given to us like on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. You really need to be looking at like news websites to find information. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm actually probably not going to vote, to be honest. I think there's just not a lot, especially it's more about just the like controversies around. You don't really find out about what they do and what their plans are. You find just more about like stuff they've done and bad stuff about them. As many of the campaigners have avoided using ballot posters in order to be more environmentally friendly, social media was expected to be the main platform of campaigning. However, still, students feel out of the loop and are confused about what they're going to vote. Lauren Allen, DCU TV News.